Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Guild's Expedition playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 3 with the IEE Immortal Empires Expanded mod, which I hadn't realised had expanded even more, <laughs> which I should have, daft of me not to, and of course the uh, uh, Skeleton Mod and Crew's 17 Extra Legendary Lords mod, and um, yeah. Last time, you may remember, we secured Kresh, um, with our allies, and, um, have uh, taken the mountains, the hinterlands, but we have a large undead horde shambling its way through the mountains towards us. I'm not that worried by it, but it's something we need to be aware of. I'm, I'm fairly sure we can deal with it, so, yeah, I'm not actually, I'm actually gonna... Remind me to, to get rid of Mr. Kandoom there. I decided not to put him into that army. Um, I might, we'll see. I'll, I'll have a think on it. But yeah, uh, boss man has been down exploring the Lost Isles. And we are going to head up here and start clearing territory here. And feeding it into the northern provinces potentially. And yeah, and once we've cleared this, we are going to, uh, down here. We're going to have a big push up here. And try and clear the coasts of Cafe. Before jumping over to Ihan. And potentially setting up some territory there, or at least clearing some territory there, because there's a, there's various uh, items I need to get hold of in the far north. So we're going to try and burn our way, you know, clear our way through those provinces as well. And see how it goes. Hmm. No! Your shambling horde can come at me, and I will destroy it. Ah, oh, you get the wisdom of Valea. No. What? I'm gonna auto this guys because it guarantees they die. Well mostly die. For the wisdom of flaming hammers, onward, summon me if you dare. Onward, vizier, vizier, vizier. Turn around and deal with that, surely. I was going to go to war with them soon anyway, so. Let us you. Vengeful rune lord. I'm going to head this way, especially as I gain something from. I, uh, they've got an item I need there. You, Mr. Boss Man. I'm going to head up this way. So we're going to aim to make landfall there and start burning our way up that way. You are literally just holding here while he rebuilds. My axe thirsts for war. Do these guys have replenishment? Agreed. I've cast no. the runes. Hang on. The rune this is a runesmith. Not even an engineer. <laughs> oh, how many of you have been swearing at me because you saw that and I when I didn't? <laughs> For the wisdom of Valea. I am a noob. There we go. So these guys need a few turns to replenish. I, I know I can get the other recruitment buildings there, but again, there's no real rush. We're, we're doing fine. Growth buildings, I think I'm relatively secure there. He says, when I know there is a beastman herd somewhere on this continent, the war herd of chaos, I believe it was. Oh, no, it wasn't the heck. It was one of them anyway. It was wandering down in the elf lands, but yeah. 
Interestingly, these elves are kind of li are, are very much living up to a sort of very colonial setup here, because you know they've got little colonies around the place. I want to bring them into a full alliance. I may end up throwing some money at them as well over a few turns, but currently they are starting to like me. Because I think if I get full alliance, I get the items from their settlements. I could be wrong, but there we go. Where? The Ripperhorn tribe. I don't even know where they are now, guys. I hear the widow maker. Welcome. Time is precious, so please make your request. Just gonna throw some money at them. Your will is done. Make them love us more. These are pointy ears we are allowing ourselves to be friends with, guys. Because their territory is rubbish. If they if they had good territory, I may not be doing this. The axe thirsts for war. Reclaim that territory which the Cetians stole from us. I serve the Raven God. We will hit Axe them hard there. Next turn. Time for a reckoning. <clears throat> Meanwhile, boss man is heading north. Fergus Hellcaster, what a name. What a name. Staff, while I love the, um, while I like the Immortal Empires Expanded mod, sorry, the, uh, Old World mod, I, I kind of also really like this one, um, I, I think it's probably not gonna ever be anywhere near as used, because it just adds a huge amount of territory, and it is lovely. Aye. Shoulder axes, lads, we move. To war. It is time. That is my territory. Never. Mr. Everchosen, you will fall before the beard tide. It's time to start pushing into their corrupted jungles. So I need to capture here as well for an item. Iron willed by the Damas. For the king. Ah, so there are Skaven here Perhaps as well still. If you dare. Anad. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, actually, growth, please. There we go. Oh, in fact, our growth thing now gives 30 growth as well. It's lovely. I've had that for a while, but I forgot about it. Sorry, I really shouldn't be double timing for it. I always do this. I click it, and even when I've got it set to just show what bad guys do. So Grimgar appears to be getting his butt kicked back up into the mountains. Basically... Cafe was struggling, then they started confederating uh, and brought themselves back. Um, the Caravan of Blue Roses managed to re-establish itself a bit, which is good. They're relatively friendly. Uh, we are going to have... Oh, that's the question. The question with the Dowie Zar invasions is... Am I going to get Dowie Zar invasions, guys? Because that's actually quite an important question for me to answer. Because if I'm going to get Dowie Zar invasions down here, it's possible I won't because of the way the mod works. But I may. And then I may struggle. So actually, we need to start building, don't we? Time for a reckoning. That'll do to start with. I speak for the Phoenix King. 
I will persuade you to be friends with me. Ready. Go, then. I know I could go through this way, but we're actually going to land here. To start with, to at least. Of Valea. Yes. March! No, mortal. No. One rug. I'm actually going to pull him back this way because I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with this invasion and I want to be ready for anything and everything. It's just a slayer. We're letting them fulfill their oath. Ooh, we got an animal to do. And we acquired an item. Uh. Oh, it's the one which gives me the weird beardless lady. Yeah. Dwarf without a beard is wrong, guys. Trusted allies, what information do you bring? A boon to the Does this. Yes, it does. So we're actually quite close to the end of that one. What does that do? Oh, wow. Yeah, I want that. Yes. Immunity to attrition for all armies is a spectacular thing, guys. I keep going over to here, then not work knowing what to build. <laughs> Aye, let's hear what you have to say. Nah. I don't need the money at the moment. Um, yeah, I say that I might like the money, but right now I'm not that. To be fair, I've been meaning to build up an army over here as well, because I should really have an army sitting on the, sitting over in this coast, just in case. Um, so we're going to build up a second good, solid army to sit on my borders around here. I mean, now Grimmy's gone, it's not as much of the problem, but we really should be ready for anything. So we're going to hit here, then we're going to hit here to get the other thing and make everybody immune to attrition, because... The idea of being able to make myself immune to attrition is insane, guys. Oh, bugger. Eeeh. Eeeh. Oh, it's just an exalted hero. Just an exalted hero. Kill them all. I wasn't confident I would have won that, guys. That's why I... <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to actually have to try and find somewhere to replenish for a while before we continue the invasion, because that was quite a nasty fight. I see why they want help with the Dowie Tsar. Make landfall next to our allies! To war! What? Let us begin! What? Really? You're going to make me siege it so I don't lose units. Because I have no desire to try and push in there. I'm, I'm happy to siege for a turn or two, guys. I'm in no rush. No, let's get that leveled up. More money. More gems. For the glorious 
glorious guild's expedition. One day we might send an emissary back to the old world. I really should. That's what I should do. I should send an emissary to the dwarves of the old world. You know, let them know how we're, how flourishing we are in this new land where female dwarves shave. They might they might send an expedition against us, guys. A, a second guild's expedition to get rid of the first guild's expedition. Because that that can't land, but it can certainly raid my shores. And what can the Dowie do for you? Oh, there we go. And that's why I need another army ready to go and deal with things. Because I may be forced to push that way at some point. Though I suspect they're going to have bigger issues to deal with relatively soon. For the wisdom of Valaya, as the High King commands. Yeah, both of these places basically Let don't have any garrison, in. do they? Time for a reckoning. My anger burns bright. Ready act There we go. Have some siege equipment, it becomes easy. I mean I still lost a lot of unit My a lot of troops, but we won. That's the key thing. Time for a reckoning. And we'll replenish relatively fast. And taking here will give us more replenishment. I think I want to get the extra money. For the wisdom of the Says. Let's see. Reload reduction time for them all. And potentially want to push down to not necessarily that one. But certainly that one. Summon me if you dare. Apologies, I sneezed. As you may have been able to tell. Right. I'm just going to recruit a lord to do this. Your entire job. Do you know I'm not? That is stupid of me. I am Heroes are more likely to survive, basically. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I coughed so violently it hurt my head. I've been doing that a lot recently since my horrible cough a few weeks ago. Um, I am talking to the doctor about it. Don't worry. Uh, I've 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 got some horrible thing. Lot I've had people regularly comment on the chat chat guys that I cough a lot, and I, it's something I am aware of, and I'm fine, don't worry about it, but I, they, they, I, I damaged my throat a few years ago with whooping cough. Who gets whooping cough these days? I was vaccinated, I still got it. The wisdom of Valaya, by the grudge bearer's will, summon me. So we'll stay there for a turn for replenishment, and then we'll sell it. Begin. My axe thirsts for war. Oh, there for one more turn. Armed and ready. Come off. You can sail back into there. They appear to have disappeared off for now. Seems quite here, Let jungle. Begin. 
but but here not. Yeah, so we'll probably get a little set up here in the Serpent Estuary, but a lot of this place. I, we'll work out what I want to keep. Basically, where I can get full regions, I may well keep it, but we'll work it out. Where it's not terrible territory for me. But at the same time, I obviously want to make very good friends with all those factions. Because, you know, I would not say no to some Longmer in my armies. Some, some flying cavalry in my dwarven armies. I would not say no to that in the slightest, guys. Ooh, I see the Everchosen is on the warpath. I may have annoyed him. I may need to avoid him. Because especially if I'm not fully replenished, I would not actually want to fight him. I'm not sure I'd want to fight him when I'm fully replenished. In fact, I may send a second army over here to give me a bit more support. We will take the migration. Bring them! Bring! <laughs> Enter. Nangao's defenses are lowered for you. Interesting. I'd have to do it one at a time. The Celestial! Ready to defend. The struggle against a great enemy. Must be fought. I will join your wall. I want you to join that. I will join all of yours. And you still won't do it. Wow. That'll make it work. In fact, I might. You know what, Sonny? I will join. We will a pact to fight chaos. There you go. That means that Archon has a bit more to deal with than just me here. Though I don't know if these guys really have much in the way of armies. Oh yeah, yeah, they have something there. One rug. The city of smoke is poised to lend you its might. A boon to I will I will take that for a single for a single gold coin. Magic in purest form. There we go. Lots of walls and a bit of economy stuff. And Yadri Hogmog is going on a diplomatic expedition to the old world to find our lost, well not lost, the Dowie brethren who we came, you know, to, to report back about how the guild's expedition is doing and to open trade ties with the uh, with the other dwarves. With the old, we ancient holds of the old world. Good. You go deal with Mr. Ever, Mr. Ever Chosen. Because I don't want to have to fight him. Because, because, nope. Nope. I will. But ideally, I'll bring lots of armies to the field at the same time. Oh, here they come. We have Dawizar incursions beginning. All of these drill sites, guys, are places where Dawizar can attack through. You can use them to get back to the Dawizar homeland, and we will have to see if they've appeared in my territory at all. We may not have because it is the, an expanded map, but we may have to deal with incursions from the Darizar. And if that's the case, we will need to go through them to take out their capital, which could and add a whole extra level to this campaign. Hang on, why am I still seeing everybody? Just 
just going to leave it on fast rather than fastest. That's better. Now I don't have to keep skipping. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's not good, guys. I don't you know we were reasonably replenished. I'm, I'm, I think we can deal with that. Don't you bloody dare. They are heading to the wall with me. Oh, I may have just uh, stuffed my allies, but I've also, he's reduced himself. Between us, we can beat him. I don't care about the puppets. Just imagine this wall held by dwarves, guys. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, we we appear to not be getting any Zawizar incursions, which is good. Right. I'm going to think about that. I need to deal with it, but it's probably going to be a next time thing. Whoa, wait. Wrong bottom. Ready. We are going to start heading to deal with him. I caused that problem. Yes, believe it or not, so, we can go around as well. And guys, I am going to actually end this one right here. Because A, I've made my head really hurt. And um, I don't think I've got time to fight this battle. I'm going to have to fight this battle. It's going to be horrible. I reckon we can win it. But it's going to be a tricky one. So we will fight that next time. It's a cliffhanger ending, guys, for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this content. Um, yeah, and comments down below. Let me know how you think I'm going to do in this battle. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That's Monsterbound, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Gavin, who I keep forgetting to put on here, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, Newbie One Kenobi, Jared Horn, Good Sir Twisted, and Space Ace 475. And thank you, everyone, for watching. Cheers, all.